Season 2, Episode 4 of Mayor of Kingstown, titled The Pool. It's really interesting. The episode starts off at a construction site where we see a character named Horace, who we find out his name later on in the show. But at the beginning, we are not given a name. He's digging and he finds this kind of container that holds something. We don't know what it is. We then transition into the aspect of Bunny trying to stay alive in Tent City. He's worried about what's going to happen to him and how nothing is progressing because Mike had this grand idea to put all the leaders in and to form and find something of what's happening. The leaders are not trusting Mike anymore and that shows and the trust is not there. Mike this goes to the assistant DA, gives her like a mouthful of what the DA needs to do, but the whole aspect of the DA still harboring on that bus full of bodies that we found out about in season one is there and he's just dangling it over everyone's head and Mike's head. And, you know, basically Mike is like you know, telling the assistant DA for the DA to get his shit together and do something about it. And the assistant DA is like, I don't have time for this shit. You need to leave now. Uh, then Kyle is wanting a job. You know, he goes to uh, Mitch's grave and he says what's happening and everything. Goes to Mike and Mike is like, uh, what do you want me to do? I need you to just keep looking for Iris and everything. Kyle's like, no, I'm not. I You need hands. I have those hands. Let me help you. Give me a job. So all that is going on and the aspect is happening. It's a few scenes of Iris. I'm not going to talk about this character. I'm done talking about this character. It's just quick scenes that play no purpose at all in this season. It's absolutely atrocious and I just move on from it. Two scenes with Iris. That's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. Now the aspect of then Bunny calls Mike like, hey, you know, something's going to happen. We're going to, you know, do certain things. Mike doesn't believe Bunny at all. So Mike goes to the head prison guard, Captain Kareem Moore or Kareem, and says, you need to put this shit together. You need to stop what's happening. You need to stop sending people to different places. Because if this happens, we have no control. And Kareem's like, uh, I don't know what to do. I just signed the papers. So it's interesting to see how that's happening. And now we get a good few minutes, maybe I want to say five minutes Scene with Miriam McCluskey, uh, Diane Weiss' character, the mother to Mike and Kyle. She goes to the juvenile place, uh, detention center, and it's really different than what she says because she is in there because she thinks the young boy that uh, robbed her has more of a good thing. And so she goes in, she starts talking about herself, and then she kind of opens up to the other kids and everything. It's a really touching moment, and it's really, really fun to see. So now the character of Horace, who I mentioned in the beginning, who now we know the name because he went into a pawn shop, didn't know where to go because he went home. We found out that the things he dug up or found were bail bonds or bonds or certificates and of kind of like old notes ranging from $500,000 on up. Do they still work? Who knows? He goes to the pawn shop and says, hey, listen, to his friend, I need some help. What's going to happen? He's like, all right. Uh, you know, get your shit and get out of here, but I don't want to deal with things like, no, he's like, please, seriously, I need help. So his friend, the pawn shop owner, gives him an address. He goes, and this there's a scene with Iris. Horace comes into the club and asks Iris, where's Joe? He goes upstairs, gets the shit kicked out of himself because it's, you know, it's Joe. And he does that, gets his finger cut off. I mean, it's terrible. It's absolutely insane. Now, Horace's wife is not comfortable. She takes all the bonds and whatever, puts it in a duffel bag, goes to the police station. One of Mike's friends calls and says, hey, you need to come down here. You need to check this out. What is it? Mike's like, holy shit, did we have this? So, yeah. so we find out that this stuff belonged to Milo. So Milo is still in town and we didn't see, we don't see him at all in this episode at all. This is more so of a episode where it's in your face but it's much better than the previous episode i mean this episode is only 39 minutes long but it works to a point where it just keeps going and going and going take out the two scenes with iris whatever we find out that mike is trying to handle things and then after mike goes to the police station to figure out what these bonds are he goes to tent city tent city is cleared out no one is there what's going to happen and that's the end of the episode that's the review and recap of episode four of season two 
of Mayor of Kingstown. Absolutely brilliant writing, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I mean, it's getting better and better. Like, can you trust Mike now? Like, who can he trust, or who will trust him? Vice versa, whatever it is, uh, what's going to happen with Milo? Will they finally confront each other? What are these bail bonds and this whole thing? Like, who will go after, you know, this? And there's so many things left unturned that it's going to be interesting. And it's this show is nitty and gritty, and it's in your face, and you definitely see that. And anything that's a true crime or anything that's a crime thriller, for that matter, excuse me, is really fun because there are not many shows like this at all right now on television that capture this kind of dark grit and idea of prison systems and, you know, riots and just, you know, bad undercover shit that's happening in a town that Mike is trying to keep contained. Because if he doesn't, all hell breaks loose. If there's no order inside, there's no order outside. And it's been said over and over again. And the episodes are getting better. Episode one, Mm, iffy, you know, we're just getting reintroduced to everyone again. Episode 2, great. Episode 3, one of the slowest episodes ever of this series. And episode 4, this one, the poll that I just reviewed, phenomenal, really well written. I'm curious to see what's going to happen, especially to Bunny, because he's coming into his own as a character. And what's going to happen with the leaders, the assistant DA, like there's so many questions that need to be answered. And I think we're going to get those answers in this season. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode four, season two of Mayor of Kingstown, titled The Pool. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? Did you like this episode better than last week's episode, episode three, titled Five at Five? And where do you see everything progressing and where do you see everything going? Do you think that these bonds, these $500,000 are worth something? Do you think Milo will come for them? And do you think we need more of Milo? And who do you think is the weakest character in this show? Who's the strongest character? And what do you think is going to happen to the entire prison system? And, you know, will they turn on Mike? It's going to be interesting to see what happens. So let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new videos on my channel. I'll see you all in the next review video. And be sure you tune in next week for my episode 5 season 2 review of Mayor of Kingstown. Thank <laughs> you.